We did a four-state study. We did a random sample of about 550 residents in Pennsylvania, Illinois, Louisiana, and Washington. And we asked them how much they would be willing to pay for rehabilitation vis-a-vis -vis punishment for serious juvenile offenders who committed a robbery. And we asked them how much money they would be willing to spend on programs for rehabilitation or punishment. And what we found was Overwhelmingly, individuals, respondents across those four states were more willing to pay more money for rehabilitation than they were for punishment. First of all, there's an age-old perception that exists among people, especially politicians, about the public's willingness to be very punishment-oriented and to not be partial to rehabilitation services or providing resources to rehabilitating juvenile offenders. Our data show in these four states that that is actually false, that individuals are actually more willing to spend money on rehabilitation than they are on punishment. So politicians can take a cue from this to, to offer to themselves and their constituents uh, that people are willing to pay for prevention programs and intervention programs that may not be beneficial right now in the sense of you'll see the, the results right now, but you will see them in the long term. The second thing um, that we find in these states is that these findings hold irregardless of race, irregardless of ethnicity, irregardless of one's sex, and their socioeconomic and education status. So across all of those demographic criteria, people are still more likely and more willing to pay more money for rehabilitation than they are for punishment.